Do you notice something wrong in the world today? Can you feel it? Are you ready for it? More importantly, do you know Christ? Sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, we gather to reflect on the problem of the stubborn heart, a heart that resists God's call, refuses to obey His commandments, and ultimately stands in the way of true faith and salvation. Our key scriptures today are John 14, 21, John 3, 36, Deuteronomy 10, 16, and Matthew 7, 21 to 23. These verses provide profound insights into the nature of obedience, faith, and the consequences of a stubborn heart. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your wisdom and guidance. Open our hearts to the truths of your word and help us to understand the dangers of a stubborn heart. May your Holy Spirit move within us, illuminating our minds and strengthening our spirits. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The concept of a stubborn heart is one that permeates the Bible. It refers to a heart that is hard, unyielding, and resistant to God's will. This kind of heart refuses to submit to God's authority and rejects His commandments. Throughout the scriptures we see numerous warnings against hardening our hearts, and the dire consequences that follow. John 14, 21 provides a clear connection between love for Christ and obedience to his commandments. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Here, Jesus emphasizes that true love for him is demonstrated through obedience. A stubborn heart, by contrast, refuses to obey and thus reveals a lack of genuine love for Christ. This theme is echoed in John 3.36, where we see the stark consequences of disobedience. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Faith in Jesus is inseparable from obedience. Those who refuse to believe and obey remain under God's judgment. Matthew 7, 21 to 23 provides a sobering warning about the consequences of a stubborn heart. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. This passage highlights the danger of mere outward expressions of faith without true obedience. Many will claim to know Christ and will even perform works in his name but without a heart that genuinely seeks 
to do God's will, they will be rejected. To overcome the stubborn heart, we must undergo a process of transformation, a circumcision of the heart, as mentioned in Deuteronomy 10.16. This transformation involves several key steps, recognition of our stubbornness, repentance, and a commitment to obedience. The first step in overcoming a stubborn heart is to recognize its presence within us. This requires humility and self-examination. In Psalm 139, 23-24, David prays, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. We must invite God to search our hearts and reveal any areas of stubbornness and resistance. Upon recognizing our stubbornness, the next step is repentance. Repentance involves a sincere turning away from sin and a turning towards God. In Acts 3.19, Peter calls the people to repent, saying, Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. True repentance brings about spiritual renewal and refreshment. Finally, overcoming a stubborn heart requires a steadfast commitment to obedience. This means actively seeking to know God's will through His Word and being diligent in following His commandments. In James 1.22, we are admonished, but be ye doers of the Word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Obedience is the hallmark of true faith and love for God. Living in obedience to God is not merely about following a set of rules. It is about cultivating a relationship with Him based on love and trust. When we obey God, we demonstrate our love for Him and our trust in His wisdom and goodness. This relationship transforms our lives and aligns our will with His. When we overcome the stubborn heart and commit to obedience, we begin to see the fruit of this transformation in our lives. Obedience to God brings about several key blessings. John chapter 14, verse 21, promises that those who love and obey Jesus will be loved by the Father and will experience the manifest presence of Christ. Obedience draws us closer to God, deepening our relationship with Him and allowing us to experience His love and guidance in profound ways. Obedience to God's commandments foster spiritual growth. In John chapter 15, verse 5, Jesus says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. As we remain obedient to Christ, we bear spiritual fruit and grow in our faith. Living in obedience to God brings peace and joy into our lives. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, we read, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Obedience leads to a clear conscience and a sense of fulfillment, knowing that we are living in alignment with God's will. A heart committed to obedience is protected from deception. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 25, Jesus illustrates this with the parable of the wise and foolish builders. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Obedience to God's word establishes a firm foundation that withstands the storms of life and the deceptions of the enemy. To cultivate a heart of obedience, we must take practical steps in our daily lives. Begin each day with a time of devotion and prayer. 
Seek God's guidance and ask for his strength to obey his commandments. In Psalm 119, verse 105, we read, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Allow God's word to guide your steps each day. Commit to regular study of the Bible. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Paul encourages us, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Understanding God's word is essential for knowing his will and living in obedience. Surround yourself with fellow believers who encourage and support your walk of obedience. In Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 to 25, we read, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Fellowship with other believers strengthens our faith and keeps us accountable. Depend on the Holy Spirit for guidance and strength. In John chapter 14, verse 26, Jesus promises, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. The Holy Spirit empowers us to live obediently and reminds us of God's word. Maintain a posture of humility and repentance. Acknowledge your weaknesses and shortcomings and seek God's forgiveness and strength to overcome them. In James chapter 4, verse 10, we read, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Humility opens our hearts to God's transformative work. The problem of the stubborn heart is one that we must all confront in our spiritual journey. By recognizing our stubbornness, repenting, and committing to obedience, we can overcome this obstacle and draw closer to God. As we commit to living in obedience, we will experience the blessings of intimacy with God spiritual growth, peace, joy, and protection from deception. Let us take practical steps to foster a heart of obedience, relying on the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the support of our fellow believers. Let us close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the truths you have revealed to us today. Help us to overcome the stubbornness in our hearts and to commit to living in obedience to your commandments. Strengthen our faith and empower us to walk in righteousness so that we may draw closer to you and reflect your love to the world. May your Holy Spirit guide us and transform us that we may be faithful to your word. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray, amen. Thank you for accompanying us on this enlightening journey through overcoming the stubborn heart. The faith and resilience of walking in faith have hopefully inspired you, and I hope to have helped you too. We are excited to announce that Bible Adventures for Children is coming soon. This new series is designed to help children learn about the teachings of the Bible in a fun and engaging way. Some of the artistic artwork seen in this video will also be featured in the cartoon series. Please stay tuned for the release to help children, because as you know, the dark forces are targeting our children, and they are the future of our world and of utmost importance to Jesus Christ. We now extend an invitation to you, not merely to support our ministry, but to become an integral part of our divine mission and purpose. Visit our website at awakeningrighteousness.com where you will discover a free blog, Christian canvas art, and a vast range of Christian books that delve even deeper into the profound teachings of the Bible. Each book serves as a beacon, illuminating the path to awaken the righteous version of yourself. By standing with us, 
your support breathes life into our ministry, enabling us to disseminate the teachings of the Bible and ignite faith in many hearts. You have the power to contribute to the saving of souls and to make a difference on earth. Stay blessed, awaken the righteous version of yourself, and join us in this holy mission of saving souls. God be with you. Amen. Thank you.